Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give them the gold glove right now. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Hammered! Deep left center field! Way back! Goodbye! Wow. Adrian Beltre and the Rangers walk it off! Seven to six! High fly ball, right center field! Marisnik back to the triangle, long, long, long run, he won't get it! And the Red Sox walked off with the win! How do you like that? Big puppy again! David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it, hit the left field deep, way back. Ruin turning around. MLB's coverage of baseball on the show and brings now, us to the home of the Braves, SunTrust Park. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Bartolo Colon gets the ball for Atlanta in this one. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's going for that coveted 30th start today. When pitchers go to spring training, they hope they're healthy enough to get 30 starts. That tells them they've had a pretty good year. So he's had a solid season with his 30th start in this ballgame. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He takes his first trip to the plate here, fresh off a four-hit ball game a night ago down the first baseline and this goes right through him and how about that to start a game and they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly well that's a great first at bat of the game and I know it's not just because of the single but he got it on three two you get a chance to see all his pitches make him work get deep in the count and get a base hit man your teammates are loving you right now Standing in, T.J. Rivera. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Yeah. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Taken for strike three, the throw. And it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a run at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Into the box now, Brandon Nimmo. He comes in with a six game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. Runner at second here with one man out. Now a look and a throw back to second. And the runner back in standing. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. And now he'll go back to second another time here. Being especially careful here. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Batting four. Digging in, the Michael Conforto. He went deep Michael in the contest Conforto. last night. Yeah. 
A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. And the run will score as the Mets have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. And he's out on a strong throw. And this is a nice decision here in the outfield. The run's going to score easily, but he sees he might have a shot at that guy taking third, so he gets off a really good throw to gun him down. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. A runner on first with two away. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swinging a soft liner, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Mets are out on top, one to nothing. Matt Harvey is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. So coming to the plate, Ender Inciarte. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Stepping up now, Nick Markakis. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these Adam days. Curry. Looking back at his last First start, baseline. he racked up nine Ks. Ready. And now he's looking like Freeman. he can put up similar numbers in this one. So stepping in, Freddie Freeman. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. A high fastball is in there. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Matt, they're on one of those hot streaks. I mean, everything is going right for them. They're playing great baseball right now. I mean, timely hitting. The bullpen's coming through. It looks and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Standing in, Wilmer Flores. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Nope. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. H, these Braves as they take the field here tonight. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. Matt, when you're on a struggling team, you always look around and say, this is win night. We got the ace on the mound. I don't care how poor you're playing when your ace is throwing. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Markakis racing back. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the yeah. inning. All right, here's how the Braves line up defensively. Brought to you by Majestic. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised he does the splits on you every now and then. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season.
Here's the one and one delivery. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. We're in the second. One nothing Mets early on. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Stepping into the box, Matt Reynolds. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Oh, Up high, two and one now. He's set and the two one pitch. And that one right down Main Street. Now, Matt, this is a tough part of being the eight hitter. That ball's right down the middle. So it makes me wonder is he trying to give his pitcher a breather? Or is he just not being aggressive? With the pitcher hitting behind you, you get a ball groove, you got to take a big hat. There's one. On to Freeman, and they turn the double play to end the inning. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. You played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. So here's Matt Kemp now. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. And the pitch on two and one. Line drive to center field. Under this is Flores and Wilmer's got it for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive right, alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Adonis Garcia digs in now. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting six. Catcher. Here Tyler. now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Career numbers against Matt Harvey. 0 for 7. Harvey gets the sign. 1 1 on its way. And that one stayed up a little high. A fastball right over the outside corner. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. They're down one nothing. Digging in, Matt Harvey, nine one and two due up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you get the strike. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Line drive to left. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Well, they thought the inning was going to be set up nice. The pitcher's leading off. You'll get oh, a quick out. Instead, he gets a base Second hit, baseman. and now here comes the top Jose of the order. Reyes. Look out. Into the box, Jose Reyes takes a high fastball for a strike. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one-two. 
And this is fouled at the plate. Now that's some good hitting. You hear the cliche, good hitting, but that is. He fouls off a changeup with two strikes. Very difficult to do. Back-to-back -back change ups and he fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And another foul ball. That is the fourth foul ball of this A.B. right here. He's seeing a lot of pitches. Line to the right side. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He oh, hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? Brandon he uses it, Nimmo. pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Standing in now, Brandon hey. Nimmo. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Here's the one and two delivery. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Another one two delivery. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Two out with the man at first. Line toward the alley and left center. In there, a base hit. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out, seven games. That's one week Michael of feeling pretty good. Concordia. Let's see how long he can make this last. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hey, let's go. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Trying to keep the score where it is and the pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Two left for the Mets. They lead it one to nothing. Matt Vaskersian, Harold Reynolds, and Dan Plezak, the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson, is the first to bat in the inning. All even at two and two. Here it is. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. It might have been Got sitting on an off-speed pitch, He's but instead in he gets the fastball Chase. way Peterson. late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, Jace Peterson. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that misses two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. 
He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Braves are still looking to break into the hit column here. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Into the box now, Bartolo Colon. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets. And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. Three innings complete. It's the Mets one and the Braves nothing. Ready for another chance as Dribble Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. That's a ball. And there's ball two now. Two balls, one strike. The two and one on its way. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Center fielder. So with one Number away, four. let's punch up the graphic Wilmer and show you the pitch Lawrence. speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And you can see the top two pitch velocities here. 96 on one hand versus a still respectable 92 on the other. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Slider up that he gets a call on. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit hard to short. Swanson brings it in. Throw to first, and Cologne's looking good here as he gets two quick ones to start the inning. Travis Digging in to try it again. Travis Darno. He drew a walk his first time up. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Down the third baseline. Played on the backhand. Throw in the He's dirt, up. but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top one to nothing. Here's Ender Inciarte. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And that's the first hit in this one for the Braves. Stepping in, Nick Markakis. 0 for 1 for him here in this Nick one. Markakis. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's real. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak. So when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that. So we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Hey. Leaves a slider right hey. over the middle. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Sliders strike three called and that's a pitcher's pitch right there two gone boy he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now he took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday and here's another one today looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact stepping in now Matt Kemp and that pitch catches the inside corner. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. Little chopper back his way. Oh, and he can't come up with it. 
And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We played four full. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And oh that should have been ball four there but it's a called strike and that runs things full at three and two. We well, definitely don't want to walk the leadoff hitter of the inning and he's done a nice job of coming back. He was down 3 0 now we're sitting 3 2. I think he's got the confidence now to throw another strike and see what happens. Well that's what you want the guy in front of the pitcher leads off the inning with the hit. Now, now it's time to play some pitcher. baseball. Are you going to bunt him over. You got to hit and run. You got to steal. What are you going to do. It gets fun now. Digging in for his second at bat Matt Harvey one for one after a single his first time up. Here's the one one now a bunt attempt here and he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. The batter number seven digging in once again Jose Reyes one for two on his line so far in the game. Even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch takes a fastball on the inside corner one run five hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Ball two. Boy, he's got to want that pitch right there. I know he's been getting a few tonight already, but man, he's around the plate. He's consistent, but like any pitcher, you want all the calls. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. Now batting, third baseman, TJ. Ready for another Rivera. shot now. TJ Rivera been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning, and he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. In now, Brandon Nimmo, line towards center field. Inciarte will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. It's a run on two hits, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Mets lead it two to nothing. Ready now, Adonis Garcia comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They've got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. they got to turn it around a little bit. Play a little small ball, get it going. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One out, nobody on. On the ground to third. Rivera scoops it up. 
in time to first, and there are two away. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Man, at bats like this make every hitting coach happy. This is what they all preach. Stay inside the ball, stay behind the ball. You can see he lets this one travel deep, then just inside outs this thing off the right center field wall. That's a rare power there and a little bit scary to opposing pitchers. Into the box, Jace Peterson. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. Throw won't get him. The pitcher, number 40, Bartolo Cano. Kurt Suzuki. It's going to loosen up now in the on-deck circle, so that's going to be all for Cologne in this one. Suzuki. And this will be fouled away. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Lifted in the air to right field. Waiting on it is Nimmo. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Breaks pick up a run on the RBI double. Five innings complete. It's the Mets two and the Braves one. John Banks takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 50, Sean Banks. Digging in to try it again, Michael Conforto. He's one for two in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Aye. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ranging back is Inciarte. Gone to lead off the inning. Solo shot to right center. 24 home runs for him on the season. And the Mets have taken a 3 to 1 lead. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do? and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Into the box now as Drupal Cabrera. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance and that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. I like it. Hard line drive on the fastball. Hit Number off four. the fastball and good things Wilmer happen. Flores. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. No one out with a runner at second. Come on, Brad, let's go. 
And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Whoa, he looks a little frustrated out there. And I don't blame him. He gives up a couple of hits early inning, and then he plunks this guy. He's fighting himself a little bit, so they might want to head out to the mound and try to calm him down. Ready for another shot now. Travis Darno comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey now, turn two here. Here's the one and one pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Ready to deliver the one and two towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now batting the first baseman. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Reynolds. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready with the one one pitch. A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Swanson ranges back and he has it for route number two. Riding in once again, Matt Harvey. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Ready with the one and two. Hit back toward the mound. Swanson scoops it up. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now three to one Mets. Here's Ender Inciarte. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike, too. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ender Inciarte. Becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in now, Nick Markakis. As he loops under the ball and pops it up. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. The first baseman, number five. Digging Freeman. in once again, Freeman. Freddie Freeman. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. Score holds, it's three to one. Back here at SunTrust Park, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready for another chance. Jose Reyes. He flew out in his last at bat. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Lazy fly ball out to center field. In Ciarte's there. Makes the play one away. Now batting, third baseman. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 
And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Set to deliver on two and one. Lays off the changeup and he's ahead in the count now three and one. Walks are never good but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite. Them. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Markakis racing back but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall and he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one out double when you're leading by one run you want to do everything you can to add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room it makes a big difference so double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility and a throw back to second runners back into the box Brandon Nimmo nope. and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with only one away Michael Conforto will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. A throw behind the runner at second and the runner back easily. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing three to one our score. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time one and two. Well that pulled him right there. Clearly he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Good lead off a second there now the pitch and he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Oh, it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? One there. On to Freeman, and they turn the double play to end the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. So here's Matt Kemp now. Do up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Fouled straight back. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Third baseman, number 13. Adonis, Adonis Garcia, Garcia digs in now. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. In now, Tyler Flowers. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Boy, that was filthy right there. That was a great indicator of how well he's throwing the ball. He's going. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Down in order go the Braves, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. Josh Colmenter has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. As Google Cabrera will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Ah. 
And that's in there, three and one. Ready on three and one, here's the pitch. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Stepping up to the plate, Wilmer Flores. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. From the belt, kicks and deals. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fouled back. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The relay, and he is in there. Here's the catcher, Travis Darnot. Over two with a walk for him so far. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. A tag and he's out at the play to double play. So striding in Matt Reynolds. He's working on a one for three thus far. A runner on first with two away. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. He gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Skied into straightaway right. Kemp has a read on it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Mets leave one, but they hang on to a three to one lead. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. One for two with a double on his line thus far. One and one, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Giving chase is Nimmo, one away. The batter, Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Ready once again, Jace Peterson. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball just a bit up. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that is a foul ball. Just missing extra bases deep in the corner. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 2-2 offering. Hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Sean Rodriguez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 15, Sean Rodriguez. And that one right down Main Street. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuck. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Braves are set down one, two, three. They still trail it here three to one. Lane Boyer enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Man 
Gavin Cicchini will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as they grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four. Digging in the switch hitter Jose Reyes he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short and that's in there base hit. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Oh man I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest that just can't happen. Now a move over to first and he's back in standing. Runners on first with one down. Line towards center field. In there, a base hit. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. The runner scores from second. The relay, but he is in there. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three run lead. You always Left play to beat that bloop Michael and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Ian Cole enters the game with now one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number 46. Ian Cole. Standing in now, Michael Conforto scoring with two strikes as he gets this one down. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Runners at second and third with two gone. Nope. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called the ball one and two. This is a big spot, Matt. You know, I like how he's pitching, though. Get him 0-2, you waste one, and now you got to expand his own skill and see if he'll stay aggressive and chase a pitch. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And the runner from second is in to score. It's 6-1. to one. Great recognition. He's looking for a ball up. The breaking ball hung, and he stayed with it. When they're up high, let it fly. When they start out low, you got to let it go. Stepping in now. Wilmer Flores, a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Inciarte. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Into the box, Travis Darno. Liner towards second. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. A ball ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Your Jerry's Familia takes the mound here. Not a safe situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. Here's Ender Inciarte. 
He'll lead it off against Jerry's Familia, who'll try to close the door in this one. Ready with the one and one. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a ball hit hard towards center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Stepping into the box, Nick Markekis. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Hit back up the middle, and Markekis has got himself a base hit. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. It's just one of those that you need to get in the hit call. It's a good jump start for him. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. So a three-run shot to right center field, number 23 for him thus far, as it is now an 8-4 to four ball game. They seem to forget that the game started a while ago, but better late than never, I guess. Sometimes one big hit is all it takes to get a team going. We'll see if they can build on it and make a run here. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the box now, Matt Kemp. Three runs already home here. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? No, a little too much hook on it there. It's a foul ball. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. The 2-2 one more time. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. Third baseman, number 13. Stepping in, Adonis Garcia. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. One and one, here it comes. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. Two balls and a strike, here it is. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Now batting. In now, Tyler Flowers. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, that's why you grind out every at bat. You don't want the game to end on your watch. He gets the base hit, extends it, and we'll see what happens the rest of the way out. Standing in now, Dansby Swanson, grounder down the line at third. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Down to the final out, you get an infield oh, single. Anything to cling on to a little bit of life. Let's Peterson. see if this sparks the rally. Now at the plate, Jace Peterson. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Hard hit towards center. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And to score, the runner from second. Now both the runners are across. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Yeah, I'd like to see this one again because at first glance it looked like a routine play. And yeah, it was. He just misses it somehow and two runs come across the score. That's beyond costly right there. Ronnie Mustelier will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Ronnie 
AJ Ramos New York. takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. And he lays off the fastball away. So it's two and two now. Seems like he's thrown everything at him. The kitchen sink. And he just fouled them off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase. And he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Well, he didn't even break a sweat this one. Three pitches, he gets the out, and heads to the clubhouse to celebrate. Can't do much better than that. Eight to six, the final score tonight. Matt Harvey earns his eighth victory of the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets, eight runs on 14 hits, one error. Garcia Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez, one, over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Center field, NCRT on the run, still going.